call. It's Temple Talk, Temple University's first entertainment talk show. Today, the Pretty Girl Sweat team is here to show us how to get fit for summer. Plus, Katie Ryan is here to talk about some new places Temple students can study away. This isn't your average college TV show, people. It's Temple Talk. Now give a warm welcome to your hosts, Marissa Gilletto, Ed LaBerge, Logan Wilson, and Lou Fry. Uh, hey guys, whoa, we have some water spill. Oh. Oh. Oops. Oh, well. That's all right. Okay, guys, <laughs> welcome to Temple Talk. We are back. Uh, the semester's wrapping up. It's getting warm outside. Uh, allergies are in full swing. <laughs> Flowers are blooming, but you know, I don't like that because I have allergies. But yeah, getting warm outside. Yes. My freshman year of college is almost over. Yeah, I mean, bye. our year is, yeah. is, it does is, fly is, by. is all but over. So uh, it is ridiculous that this year is almost done. I know. Yeah. It flies by. Tough, tough for you, Logan, huh? I know, yeah. I know. Graduating in 17 days. Nice. It, it goes by really fast. Like, you have no idea until you wake up one morning and it's like, <laughs> hello, you're halfway yeah. through your second semester of senior year. And I'm just like, <gasps> <gasps> Are all of your wild. friends feeling the same way? Like, are some happy, some um, nervous? Not all are graduating. So oh, okay. they're a lot yeah, more happens. relaxed right. than, than I am. <laughs> yeah. Um, but some of them are, you know, the job search, it is, it's very stressful. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure. sure. I'm just like, I don't even want right. to think about that. And like. it's not, it's honestly not necessarily the pressure of like, I have to get a job, but it's very pressuring when you go and talk to someone and nothing against them, but they're like, so have you applied for jobs yet? Have you gotten right. jobs? And like, yeah. a lot of people don't yeah. understand whatever industry you're looking to go into. It's and it's different. And that I think is the hardest part. Um, because I think a lot of college kids are actually okay with going home, working at a right. restaurant or store, you right. know, for a little for bit a just to take that breather and then go into a real job. Right. But mm -hmm. I feel like society gives us those questions that's like, do you have a job it's yet? Or are you applying? You know. Right. 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 Yeah. And and I always ask people that too. I'm like, oh, have you applied to jobs? You know, know. Are you getting a job anywhere? And they're always like, yeah, I'm applying. <laughs> it's I'm like, like, yeah, don't bring I'm, it up. I'm sorry. like, yeah. okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop I even subject. brought that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Sore spot. <laughs> All right, so have you guys heard about this University Primetime new social a media thing? Yeah. Uh, University Primetime is a brand new social media platform, and it's for only, or not only Temple students, only college students. Okay. And um, some people are saying it might be the new Facebook. I was reading this article, and it says Facebook is about to lose about 80% of its users wow. in the next okay. two or three years. So is University Primetime kind of that new thing coming back and uh, kind of taking over for I Facebook, maybe? I feel like maybe? it's doing the same thing Facebook did, so I feel like that's why it won't succeed, because Facebook has been there, done that. Do yeah. You know what I mean? it's yeah. Kind of yeah. Well, there needs like to be some changes. They need to somehow differentiate. Yeah. But my issue is, is like I'm graduating, and you have to have a .edu email to yeah. join. Right. To apply. What to do I do? Does right. that mean I can't join? You know. Right. So yeah. are you really? You're gearing towards young. 18, 19, 20 year old freshmen right. and sophomores. Right. Well, it, it's interesting. I know they, they do a lot of different advertising with everybody. Um, and I know Facebook, they like friend every college student that they That's can true. possibly find. And it's yeah. like four or five invites a day yeah. to, to different things. That's the other thing I don't like. They, they're a friend, they, they don't have a liked page. Right. No, which true. I feel that like Facebook has created a very good system of yeah. pages right. and events and friends. So then it makes me think like, do you really know how social media works? Oh, if you're yeah. this new type of social right. media. That's true. <clears throat> they're also advertising, you know, like no um, potential job recruiters are on here, you know, it's like only college sure students, students, no adults, no advertisements, mm -hmm. which Facebook is kind of to that point now, yeah. I think. I'm like scrolling on my news oh. feed. It's like, oh, that's an advertisement, that's an advertisement. Yeah. So it's not the same as it was years ago. So yeah. I think people are kind of weaning off Definitely. Facebook yeah. and not using it as much. I'm interested um, to see how that works. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. I I'm like interested to see how, how it goes at least. A, I'm yeah. interested to see they're offering the by June 1st, the first university that has the most members gets a free concert. Right. So in the yeah, fall. Yeah. That's interesting. So that's very if interesting. it's all student run, I, I how do you pull that off financially? Like that's right. that's a big burden to advertising. I don't know necessarily if it's yeah. geared towards students. We don't know if it's student run. Like right. that's true. they're yeah, they're true. probably student representatives from each university, right. but 
the actual university primetime could be run by adults. Yeah, could be run by an eight-year-old yeah. man. You sure. never know. <laughs> we'll never could know. be an eight-year-old man at his computer. Know. Just No, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. I have no clue. Um, there's also been TV news happening um, all over the place. Josh Elliott left GMA. Mm -hmm. Michael Strahan's on GMA now. Um, also, Colbert is taking over for David Letterman on CBS. Tamron uh, Hall's on the I, Today Show. Oh, yeah, Tamron Hall's on oh, the yeah. Today Show now as full-time. Yeah, Temple alum. Uh, but Colbert, I really don't. I'm not I don't that. find him funny. I don't I've find never David seen Letterman show. kind yeah. of funny. So I just feel like he's know. not going to be in character. So like it's not. It's a completely different show. So why did you? I don't know. Well, it's yeah. Intro. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I like Colbert. I think he's cool. I think he's he's pretty funny. I mean, he has his moments. Granted, he's doing a different type of show exactly. now, so it's going to be different. But yeah. I still think he'll do a pretty decent job. I've, I've never seen him, but I, I've heard a lot of people say that he's not going to last longer yeah. than two years. Yeah, I don't. Which I thought was I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of agreeing with that. I think I'm it's, not, it's sure. not necessarily that he won't last. I think it's tough competition who he's going up against. I mean, Kimmel and Fallon already have yeah. huge mm -hmm. followings, yeah. you know, yeah. and they have changed the show, but yet kept, you know, some traditions. Yeah, sure. I don't know how he'll come in and change or keep traditions, what he'll bring from his old show to this show. I mean, Fallon said that there was not much of a difference between late night and tonight exactly. on his yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it'll well, be it's interesting. It's very yeah, similar styled shows. Yeah. Yeah. You know? They're all but be as far as, you know, you look at Michael Strahan coming over to GMA, I think that's yeah. something we so all kind of saw that. coming. Yeah. He's got such a personality. I know, you know, but it worries me about Live with Kelly and Michael because that's my show. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care. Well, I watch that show all the time. His entire NFL career, he's juggled multiple things. You know, he... Football on Sundays. Football on Sundays on Fox. He did live with Kelly, you know, and Michael. I don't think so. he'll, he'll have any, you know, yeah. giant He's issue. He's good at what he does. He'll make it work. Um, also, it was rumored uh, Chelsea Handler is leaving E at the end of this year. I know, so, so sad. sad. It's, <laughs> it's going to be terrible. It, um, it was rumored, though, that Khloe Kardashian might be taking her place I'm um, as yes, a host. I, I am, too. <laughs> <laughs> One of our co-hosts didn't turn their phone off. It's fine. It's um, my alarm. <laughs> so, Khloe uh, Kardashian might take over. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I I'm, hope she yeah. does. It's not, you know, official yet, yet, but I mean, I, mean, I would watch it. She had a radio show a couple years ago in Miami. Which that's right, out of similar. Miami. Very similar. Oh. To yeah, she right. did. Like, yeah. So yeah. I think she would do an excellent and, job. And I love the Kardashians. I, I don't care. Do. People hate them. People love them. I love them. She's so just I will so watch her. Like, she, she is. is. She's so she real is. and hard. She's kind of so like real. Chelsea Hammond. Exactly. She you say they're so genuine, but you don't know that. <laughs> okay, reality, from the television Reality TV standpoint. is staged 110%. Okay, but she has a personality. I know, but I believe that's her actual personality, though. And she's been filling in quite a bit. Yes, she has for Chelsea Handler in the last month, I think, twice she's hosted the show. So, um, yeah. Like All right, no. next <laughs> next huge news. Um, Jay-Z's Made in America Festival is now a <laughs> bi-coastal music festival. It'll also be in Los Angeles along with Philadelphia. And a lot of college students, Philadelphia natives, are worried whenever it comes to which performers will be where. Right. Um, I can kind of see us having the short end of the stick because yeah, LA is, LA is, is everyone. Everything. Well, I yeah, think I agree. one of the big things like I, I'm really noticing about it, I think artists artists tend to have an inkling to where they're from. Right. So if you have you know artists who are from this East Coast, you know Pennsylvania, New Jersey, a, a Boston area, I think they'll choose to come to Philadelphia over LA just because it's that's home. You know, people who was were able to make them get where they are will be able to come All out right, and well, see them. Where are the international artists going? Iggy Azalea, <laughs> Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that's a toss up. Yeah. That is true. I didn't even think about that. That's a good. I don't yeah, know. I'm, I'm. I think I'm done with Made in America. I've never gone. I, I sold my. I've never gone. I hear about it. I hear about it all the time. Yeah. It's very expensive. Go. Once you're in, you're in. It's. They make a lot of money. They make a lot of money, and I don't like. Where's the money going? You yeah. know, like it's a huge festival, and you mm -hmm. come in, you're stuck in there. If you want food or anything, of course yeah. it's, you know, ten dollars more than it yeah. would be outside the concert. And it's fun, but it can be a mess. It's very claustrophobic, yes. long lines. Yeah. I, I don't know. Okay, maybe not. not okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I take that back. I'm not going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not spending my I'm money. I'm not going to go, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's about all we have today for, for some all topics. Right. Well, up next we have, we're going to see what new places there are to study away with Temple, so you don't want to miss it. So we'll be right back. Coming up next, Ed and Marissa learn about cool places to travel right here on Temple Talk.
And welcome back to Temple Talk. We are here with the Assistant Director for SMC Study Away, Katie Ryan. Katie, thanks for Hi, coming thanks out today. For coming thanks with for us. having me. You're welcome. Now, I know SMC has amazing opportunities to study away, but yeah. I hear there's new locations. Is that correct? Can you yes. tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So we launched our global internship program beginning last summer. Um, last summer, we started with Barcelona and Hong Kong. So it's a full-time internship for eight weeks. Right. You take a class on campus beforehand. But we're expanding now to a bunch of domestic locations. So we have right. Boston, D.C., San Francisco, um, Miami. Right. So. The, the domestic options are, are really expanding. Okay. It's a great way to make connections. Yeah, I was going to say, so you yeah. have to have an internship when you go there? Yes. Okay, yes. so that makes it good for the students to exactly. make connections, like you said. Yeah, and many students have found job opportunities after completing the program, okay. so back really in that location? About it. Yes. Oh, wow, that's so, and awesome. What, what prompted the department to start doing more domestic um, Yeah, we, we really have seen an interest in internship programs in general, mm -hmm. and I mean, I really think the, the draw for domestic programs is that you can make those professional connections. It's a little bit harder right. to move to Barcelona after graduation, as much fun as that would be. Um, but to be able to make connections in a city like D.C. or New right. York and have that when you graduate is an amazing opportunity. Right. That's and, awesome. And so financially, this a lot of students you know, get a little scared uh, right. about studying away because of the financial hardship that it mm -hmm. could. But I understand that there's some potential scholarships and stuff. Can you talk there about are. that for a little bit? Yes. Through the Study Away office, we offer... 500 to 3,000 dollar scholarships wow. basically wow. for anybody who applies for them. It's just an extra essay on our application form so great way for some easy money. Yeah. Also financial aid um, and then any scholarships that you're currently receiving can be applied okay. to any of our programs <laughs> and there are plenty of outside funding opportunities through the departments, through um, SMC, different schools, also larger national scholarships like the Gilman. Um, the opportunities right. are out there. So students shouldn't ever base their study away options off of money because exactly. there's so many things. Now, if someone wants to do that, how many, how do you apply? Like, how do you go about doing that? I know that yeah. might keep people from doing it because they don't know how to do it. Yeah, it can be quite a bit of work. Um, the, I, I think once you have your base scholarship essay, you can reuse that, sort of tweak it for the different okay. scholarship opportunities. Um, most of the deadlines will be around the same time. So if you're planning to go in the spring, you'll want to apply in the fall for scholarships. Okay. So just thinking ahead, planning ahead is planning really key. Ahead. Right. Okay. okay. That's awesome. And mm -hmm. I know one thing I would be curious about, being a girl, I don't know if Ed would have the same problem, but is packing. Yeah. How does a student pack for that long, for like that weeks. long yeah, period? A long time. Give us some it's tips. It's tough. So most of our housing facilities have laundry, so at least yeah, you can that's okay, good. That's good. You know, <laughs> good only bring some of your stuff and, and clean it. Um, we, we always tell people to lay everything out that you want and divide it in half and bring that. Especially if you're planning to travel a lot before or after the program, you don't want to be lugging a 50-pound suitcase. Right. Plus, um, you'll want to go shopping in your That's location what I was and have too. Yeah. all of these great items when you come back that you found right. in Barcelona in Hong Kong. That's awesome. So what's your most popular like location? What like where do most students apply and go? London is always our most popular. Mm -hmm. That's our only semester program, so we mm -hmm. run that during the fall and spring and in the summer. Um, our South Africa program has been picking up some popularity lately. It's all journalism credit, but you guys might have heard about it in the press a bit lately, maybe. Um, students have received EPI awards for their work on yeah, Philadelphia awesome. neighborhoods. Yeah, cool. so yeah. It's an amazing program. Um, you have you come away with like a product that you produce right. during your time there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. it, it's really big. Yeah, I know. I'm excited to study away. What yeah. are people's favorite part? I mean, not the in, other than the internship, because I know that's yeah. really awesome. Yeah, that's but do you know? you know, what's something that people come back saying, like, this is why I went and this is why right, right. I'm yeah, so I think, happy I did Yeah, I think the difference between studying abroad or studying away and just traveling is that you really feel like a local. You find your neighborhood like grocery stores and you meet people that are actually from that area. And I think that our students, based on the housing and being able to do internships in a lot of places, really feel ingrained in the culture and like they became a local for that time. Yeah, well, I, I think that's something that can be intimidating because yeah. you're, you're coming to a different country or, right. you know, if it's one of the domestic places, right. a different state and location that you may have never been before. So coming yeah. in, it's going to be a little weird at first. It is. Yeah. There's definitely culture shock um, for a lot of our locations. I mean, even if you don't think there will be, even London, where the language right. is the same, mm -hmm. it's still so different. And I can imagine with our domestic locations, you would have a little bit of that as well. Right, right. So. All right, well, thank you so much for joining yeah. us, Katie. Cheers. It was really nice to hear Thanks so much all for your having advice. me. You're welcome. Yeah, it was a, it was a pleasure to, to, to bring <laughs> you on. And, uh, yeah, we'll get you guys to study away. All right, yeah, <laughs> yes, well, please. I'm definitely, definitely <laughs> after this up. more interested in studying away. <laughs>
So we'll see what we have uh, coming up next right here on Temple Talk. Coming up next, Luke and Logan learn how to get in shape for summer. All coming up on Temple Talk. You don't want to miss it. Hi guys, welcome back to Temple Talk. We are here with Zamara and Andrea from Pretty Girl Sweat and they are here to show us how to tone up for summer. They have some great exercises for us that we can do in your dorm room or apartment and summer's really creeping up on us so guys we're excited yes. about this. Yes, unfortunately. So I'm so happy you guys are here. I need to get toned up for summer. I don't know about you, <laughs> yes. but I'm so glad you're here. I definitely do. And can you guys uh, do me a favor and tell us a little bit about Pretty Girl Sweat? Sure. Pretty Girl Sweat is a national program founded by our CEO, Aisha DeVore Branch. Um, it was founded in 2011 in New York City, and the initiative basically pushes younger girls to live healthier lifestyles, participate in sports, and just be healthy overall. So. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Sounds great. So you guys have some exercise. -ish. We're going to so do them, started. so you guys are going to walk yes. us through. Yeah, you're going to okay. walk so. us through. So the first exercise that we're going to do is a partner sit-up clap. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh, yeah. So make sure you're securing each, other's feet. Okay. Okay. securing each other's feet. So All you're right. going to both go down, do a sit-up at the same okay. time. Here we go. Come back up. Ooh. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. clap. Go back Patty, down. Right? And you're going to yep. do this 10 times. Two. Three. And this helps Sheepin. your abdominal. Yes, yeah. your core. You can always ask your roommate, hey, want to play patty cake and exercise? <laughs> Bye. And set this bikini season. Exactly. Why not? Yes, Seven. bikini season. Good job. Get it yeah. ready. Is this room in your dorm room or apartment? Will this work in the lounge or sure. in the park? Lounge, um, if you have a roommate and you guys want to just work out Ten. after studying one night. All right. Hey. All right. And the okay. next All right. exercise. So the next exercise that we're going to do requires you and your partner to be back to back. And we're oh. going to do a water bottle. All right. Let me just okay. grab us a water bottle here. All right. So you're gonna oh. twist, twist, and then yep. twist. Very easy. All right. So this also helps your core and your obliques. Um, you're gonna do this ten times as well. Is it burning? It is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. It's a little dizzy just too. a little bit. Yeah. And this is also easy to do in Eight. your dorm room or lounge Nine. or. Sure. Ten. Easy Five. enough. Good job. Great. Right. So the next one that we're going to do requires one partner to be laying down and the other one to be sitting up. Okay. okay. So okay. Is this so leg throw? This is going to be our leg yes. throw. Okay. All right. So your partner on the like ground is going one. to secure her hands on your ankles. You ready? Oh, when she yes. brings her leg up, you can push it down whichever okay. direction. Whichever. Do are you ready, Logan? So riser. Yes. <laughs> oh, this one works your abs. This, <laughs> this also tightens up your core. Do you feel it? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks right like really hard. <laughs> I'm a good personal trainer. Has it been 10 yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. All I'll right. let you go. I like that one. <laughs> okay. All right, so the next exercise we're going to do, we're called the inchworm. So okay. you're going to start off okay. All right. standing up. You're going to go down. Inch yourself out. And then bring Until those legs back. back up. Okay. And then bring those legs up. Inching yourself out. Oh, my. Ah, I'm almost going. <laughs> Right. That's like that. Ah. We're gonna do five reps of that. So okay. what does that one do? Did you feel it back here in your hamstrings? I so did. Yeah, yes. here. I was like not going up anymore. Your hamstrings, your biceps. Right. Ooh. And you can also do it in a reverse way as well okay. to make it more challenging. If we had more space, we could show you. How long do you hold your plank for when you get down in a plank position? I mean, you could challenge as, yourself. Yeah. As okay. You can put like two seconds. Like one second. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> you know, whatever. You know. Whatever. You prefer. All right. Next. All right. And the next one we're going to do requires our chairs. We're going to do tricep dips. Okay. So. So you're gonna get on the edge of your chair. Oh, Hold on with your palm, okay. like so. I don't like out. anything on. <laughs> and you're gonna do yeah. ten dips. Okay. Come on. And this helps okay. to strengthen your triceps. And I have no upper body strength. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. I'm gonna do ten. It's my exercise for the week, people. <laughs> Not exercise. Make sure you're keeping your legs straight the whole time. Yep. Okay. All right, there you go. I can smell the beach oh, yeah. already. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. You guys are feeling it now? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so, so the next thing we're going to do is the in and out starfish move. Okay. So you get on the ground. Okay. Have your oh, feet right. elevated okay. about six inches if possible off the ground. Okay. And your arms are going to be out. And when everything is off the ground, you're going to come in. So it looks a little bit like this. Up. Ooh. I feel this in my abs and my legs. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely in there. Are you cheating by holding your legs? I'm not holding my legs. <laughs> I think you are. Not touching them. Ooh. I lost count. Are we at 10 yet? Same. Yep, I think we're at 10. <laughs> okay. That was 10. Good. It's actually 11. Okay. Sounds great. <laughs> Next All right, exercise. All right. Our next well, one is going to be one. our bookshelf reach. Okay. Ooh. Again, so. this is easy to do in your dorm if you have books or even. I guess the plus side right. of having heavy books. Right. Okay. Yeah, true. So you're gonna I start. Use four books. Right. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna go down to your left. Okay. As if you're picking a book up off of the floor. Oh, it's on the floor. Reach up. Put it on the bookshelf. Shelf. Down to the right. And then up. You're gonna do this ten times as well. Try and keep your core tight the whole time. Yes. That you're doing the okay. Time. Now, is this also called like the Michael Jackson <laughs> exercise? Kind of looks like Call it whatever you like. Kind of <laughs> should we be bending our arms? Yeah, or should we? No, keep, keep it straight, straight, straight the entire straight. time. Oh, yeah, it is actually working. Feel it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good stretch for you. <laughs> yes. And how important is it to stretch before and after your exercises? Extremely yes. important. Extremely it keeps important. you from being injured. All right, that was 10. Yep. Whew. I like your counting. That's good. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for coming and whew, giving us a workout today. Feel it? Yes, and we can follow you guys on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and yes. FreeDrillSweat.com. Yes. yes. That's awesome. Thank All right, we will be right back. Remember to connect with Temple Talk on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for behind-the-scenes footage and online exclusive interviews. We'll be right back. Maybe I can uh, All right, guys, that's all we have for this episode of Temple Talk. Make sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And from all of us here at Temple Talk, wishing to our seniors a big congratulations, especially ours, Logan Wilson. Aww. Congratulations, Logan. All right, well, we'll see all of you next time. Right, right here, here on, on Temple, Temple Talk. Talk. See you.